Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain when we use triscope in Mule application and how we handle errors in triscope. In a Mule flow, if we have troublesome operations, we can group these operations and we can put these operations inside triscope and we can assign an error handling strategy to the triscope then these operations will run under that particular error handling strategy. We also use triscope to process the group of operations inside a transaction. Inside triscope error handler, we can configure one or more own error components like own error continue and own error propagate. We configure these own error component to match the error types and expressions and error type any match all the errors. At runtime, once error occurs in triscope, triscope start processing the component. It does not process remaining component of the triscope. Mule start executing the error handler of the triscope. Inside the error handler, Mule search the matching own error component in a sequence. There could be three result of search. First one, First matching component is own error continue component. Second one, first matching component is own error propagate component. Third one, none of the error component match the error. If first matching component is own error continue component, then mule executes this own error continue component. That means it executes all the processor inside the own error continue component and the result of this execution becomes the result of execution of the triscope. Execution of triscope completes successfully and any transaction at this point are also committed. In flow, Mule start executing the next component after triscope as a normal as if the triscope never threw an exception. If first matching component is own error propagate component, then Mule executes the own error propagate component. That means it executes all the processor inside the own error propagate component. Mule rollbacks any transactions. Own error propagate component rethrow the error and execution of the triscope phase. Inside the flow, Mule does not execute any component after triscope. Mule start executing the flow error handler. If none of the own error component match, then Mule rethrow the error and execution of triscope fails. In flow, Mule does not process any component after triscope and it is start executing the flow error handler. Now I will demo the triscope error handling in any point studio. I will add a Mule project. I will give the name try scope demo. I will click finish. I will add HTTP listener. I will add a connector configuration. I will keep these values default. I will add a path slash demo. I will add a logger component. I will log message flow entered now i want to select books from database so i need a database select operation i will drag this select operation here now i will add a connector configuration i will select mysql connection I will add a maven dependency. I will change the version 8.0.26. I will click finish. Now I will provide the connection values. Local host port 3306 user book and password 
password database book db click ok now i want to handle the scenarios where if any error occurs in database select operation i still want to continue with the rest of the connector and rest of the operations i will add a try scope I will put this database select inside try scope. Now I want to add a own error component inside try scope error handler. So I will drag two own error continue component. And now I need two lowers. Now I need to transform message component. In first own error continue, I will set the error type DB connectivity because I don't have any database. So I will get the DB connectivity error. Now I will set the type to any in the second on error continue component. Now I will provide appropriate log. DB connectivity error occurred. And I will set JSON payload. Message. This payload is set inside try scope error handler. And here I will just log error occurred. And I will build a JSON message. Message. Error occurred. Okay, I need to provide select query inside the database select. Select a star from book. Now I need a logger. I will log, try, scope, succeeded. And payload is payload. And now I need a transform message component. I will build a JSON message. Message colon. Flow with dry scope succeeded. Now is that flow error handler? I will add own error continue. Here I will catch all errors, so I will select any. And I need a logger. I need a transform message. 
I will log the message. Error occurred in flow. I will build a JSON message. Error occurred in flow. I will add one more logger. I will say flow exited. I will save the project, right click and run the project. Now while the project is deploying, let me recap. I add a HTTP listener with the slash demo resource. I add a database select operation and I don't have any database so I will get a DB connectivity error. I'm catching this inside TriScope and because this is the own error continue so TriScope will succeed. We should see the payload that is being fed here from this logger and then I'm building a message that will be sent to the client. Let's go back to console. Our application has been deployed. Clean the console. I'll go to the postman and invoke the demo resource. Click send. Okay, we got the message. Flow with the try scope succeeded. Let's go to the console and observe the log. Here, first log is flow enter that is coming from this logger then it came to the select and as i don't have database so it gave the error db connectivity so first own error continue caught this error now it should have logged this db connectivity error occurred so let's observe so we got db connectivity error occurred that is being logged by this logger and then because of own error continue the try the scope succeeded so control came here and it, it logged the message set by this transform message. So that's why it's printing try scope succeeded and payload is message payload is set inside the try scope handler. That's what we are setting here. The payload is set inside the try scope handler that is being printed by this logger. And that is we can see here. Because if triscope succeeds, all the component after triscope also executes. Now it builds the message and then at the end flow exited that is being logged by this logger. And that this message flow with the triscope succeeded came to the postman. Now I will use the own error propagate inside try scope error handler so i need a own error propagate i will add two own error component in first own error propagate I will set the type DB connectivity and in second one I will set the type any and I will drag these logger out of own error continue and I will drag transform message as well. And I will delete these own error continue. So now we have own error propagate. And let's see how dry scope handle these own error propagate. So when I will run, it will still throw the 
db connectivity error because I don't have any database. So I will save the project again, go to the console. It has been redeployed. I will clean the console, go to the postman. I will hit the send button. This time we got a different message. Message error record in flow. So let's observe the log in console. So flow enter got printed by this logger. Then database select printed the DB connectivity error. Then first own error propagate caught this DB connectivity error. And then it printed the log DB connectivity error occurred. So let's see where it is. Okay, DB connectivity error occurred. Then it set the payload. But this is own error propagate component. So Triscope will read through the error and it will not execute any component after the Triscope. So none of these component logger, transform message logger will execute. It will directly come to the flow error handler and where it will first execute logger. So error occurred in flow, we should see in console. So error occurred in flow, we can see that. And then it building the message, message error occurred in flow. And that's what being sent to the postman. And that's what we're seeing here. And we are not seeing this logger flow exited because none of these component gets executed. Now I will show the scenario where none of the owner component match the error type. So I will change the error type here to something else. Maybe I will say DB query execution. And here in second on error propagate, I will select a type, something like a bad SQL syntax. And I will save it. Go to the console. So, mule application has been redeployed. I will clean the console, go to the postman. I will hit the send button. We got the message, error occurred in flow. Let's go to the console and observe the log. Here flow entered is logged by this logger. Then we got the issue. TV connectivity issue. Then none of these uh, own error propagate match the error. So the error got rethrown by Triscope and it came to the flow error handler, which printed this error, error occurred in flow, error occurred in flow and build the payload, error occurred in flow. That's what we can see in the postman. This is how the error handling works in Triscope. I hope you understood the concept. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.